Oh, hell yeah, I did. I had to go take me a shower for this one. This story is so damn nasty and dirty. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> family and friends aka subscribers fans and followers what's up i have a public announcement service to give to you this morning um i may not be the prettiest tool in the shed but bitch this tool know what to do with her box stay tuned hell you don't want your box smelling like dank coochie and this story so damn fishy. Oh Lord, I can smell it from here, you two. I'll give you my commentary and everything after this short clip plays. Thank you so much. Subscribe, like, and share. Let's get into it, okay? Let me go put my clothes back on first, though, all right? Is my thing pussy? No. Bitch, now white. Look, I don't have a pussy, but I do know from my understanding. When you listen, who in here got a pussy? Anybody here got a pussy? Um, do. You do? Well, when you got a pussy, do you supposed to wipe from the front to the back or the back to the front? The back to the front, baby. So you got to wipe from the back to the front? So none of that duke don't get in your pussy? Mm hmm. Oh, because if I do, you got dang pussy. Dang pussy. Mm. Child, listen. That's one rumor I wouldn't want to be close. Hey guys, I absolutely find this story very alarming. I just happened to be looking at some video posts and I came across this video where these women, men dressed as women, trans, was having this conversation about at uh, another YouTuber. And I just listened to it and I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Back to front, you will contaminate all kinds of things. Infections, feces, uh, yeast, E. coli, <laughs> whatever else. <laughs> this is not good, guys. Um, If you know these women in this clip, please reach out to them. Some young lady did text in and, and I do believe said... um. I believe the woman said in the clip, front to back, there was somebody who texted in. But all I kept hearing, uh, T.S. Madison said, back to front, back to front, back to front, back to front. And that is not true, guys. That is not true at all. Please save yourself some time from going to the doctor's office, having all kinds of problems, itching, everything else going on down there. The proper way for women to wipe is front to back you want to take whatever is in the front and put it to the back and drop it in the toilet and that's the way I was taught I never bring anything front and that's just it it doesn't make sense to even whether it's number one or number two you want to go back you want to go front to back front to back front to back people again let me know your thoughts down below because 
What I'm noticing on YouTube is there's a lot of wars going on with the LGTB and women and black women. And our community is so ucked up right now. That was U-C-K-E-D without the F, okay? But um, it's crazy. And, and, and each one teach one. But, you know, I have this thing. Before we go outside and appear to the world that we look good, you know, we got to sweep around our own front door, clean up our own bathrooms, and make sure our bodies is intact. And when you hear men, obviously only one of them in there in a room full of so many, only one have a vagina. So that leads me to believe that the rest of them dressed as a woman still have a penis, which makes them a man. Are they transitioning or do they want to transition? Should they, uh, you know, like immigrants who want to migrate into America, men who want to migrate into being a woman, should they have to take a constitutional woman, a woman's constitutional test? Do they have to take hygiene 101? Do they have to live their life fully as a woman and, and not this cross between or, you know, like, I don't know. They got these hybrids and things like that going on. People who got all different kind of body parts and all different kind of other things. And I'm not here to judge anybody, but you know, you got men with breasts and penis and it just not look good. For any children coming up, for any adults, period, for, for our community. Just when I hear men dressed as women who call themselves women, don't know how to wipe, it's alarming to me, people. Let me know your thoughts down below. God bless you all. And, and again, each one teach one. So reach out instead of fighting and bickering and stuff like that. Let's clean up our community. And obviously it starts at home and, and we should just go on back to home Mac 101 into the bathroom. Everybody learn how to wash their hands. Everybody learn how to wash their mouth out with soap. And everybody know how to wash their ass and wipe it. Okay. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. God bless you and have a great day. Thank you. Guys, you know, I did watch the clip again, okay? And basically, um, nobody said it. I checked and checked and checked. And I, I did watch the clip in full. And I'm going to try to put the link below where you can watch it in full if you want. But in this part of the clip that I have, no one mentioned it. But I do remember seeing a clip where um, somebody had, um, you know, commented down in the live that um, that this woman, I mean, that you wipe from front to back. But in this video clip here is not said. And T.S. Madison would make reference to that in the other clip that I saw. But... Still, they went on joking and carrying on. Should women be mocked by men who transition and migrate into womanhood? Women cannot and, and get uh, looked down upon if they speak out harshly against the LGTB community. So, you know, these are some questions. I asked some of the questions in the in the video Go ahead, comment, like, share. Let me know what you think about this because it's not about the war that's going on in this world, but it's about what you can do to solve the war. And obviously, with the LGTB community and women, some women, not all women, but some women have, you know, issues going on. And, and part of the problem is communication. And if LGTB community... Not all of them, some of them will sit down and talk to women. They will learn what womanhood is like. And then women may be able to understand what their world is like. But until that dialogue really happens and takes takes place. Now for me, my own personal preference, God says in the book of Genesis, let us make man in our image, male and female, let us make them and nothing in between. And until our community can get back to its rightful place, men as men, women as women, children as children, 
uh, don't think I'm a Christian and everything is biblical here with me, but I do read the Bible and take most of my insight from that. And if you do look at it in a certain kind of way, men will be men, women will be women, and children will be in their place and everybody will know what their position is and things will begin to run smoothly once we get back to the way God taught us how to live. Because right now, everybody wants to live the way they want to live. And you got some men out here dressing up as women who actually want to live as a woman, but they don't know in full detail what it is to be a woman, guys. So thank you so much. God bless you. Have a great day. I hope to see you all. Talk to you soon. My name is Drew. Yes, I'm not going to feed into it, but when I see the nonsense and the BS, God says shine your light on it. And that's all you have to do to make a difference is speak out against the injustices and the things that you see wrong. And when I came across this, I'm like, damn, as a woman, you got some women out here that don't want to know how to wipe and take care of themselves down below. Now you got men out here doing the same thing. Subscribe, like, share. Let me know your thoughts, comments, and everything else, people. Because what? At the end of the day, I'm a woman. You're a woman. Men love women. It's all, you know, it's all one circle of life, cycle of life. We all, you know, is in this thing together, guys. But, you know, spread the word. Share this video. Let people know. That the proper way to wipe is front to back. Hell, I hope I'm not saying that shit wrong. <laughs> Subscribe, like, and share. Front, you want to go from the front to the back. You never go from the back to the front. All kinds of ass problems happen. <laughs> All kinds of issues happen that way, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Subscribe, like, and share. <laughs> Next time. Hey, YouTube. I suggest you go ahead and get all the toilet paper you can because at this point in time, you may need it. I'll see you at the end. I'll give you my commentary and everything after this short clip plays. Thank you so much. Subscribe, like, and share. Next case. We the People versus Mandy, Michael, Marka, Mari, Manny, Nan Nan, Manua, Manute Bowl, Manatee, Mike Mike, Mansell, Marshall, Ma, Matthew, Mansell, Mandingo, Hitchin, to the same. Mandy, man, hold on. The people are calling you to the docket. You are being charged with refusing to let go, bullying for being called a he, saying all women smell like fish, and failure to transform completely. The black women are upset with you, uh, Mandy. They want you on the docket. Uh, they say you say women smell like shit and smell like uh, smell like fish. And, uh, uh, yeah. We talked about this last week, and I was saying that all you niggas that be messing with these uh, T S uh, trans trannies uh, and act like that y'all were being fooled was a damn lie because uh, asshole don't smell like food. And Mandingo is right. Pussy do smell like sweet fish. It has a sweet woman that smell that men love to gravitate to. Real men. Real men want to gravitate to that sweet fish, not that shitty sewer hole. And um, I, I just think any real man would rather smell fish than shit. So the black women are upset with you. They say that you've been bullying them for doing the same thing that you do. Um, and that's what I said when... Um, uh, the roaster becomes the roasted. Um, you know, it's a lot. It was, it was maybe about 30 emails about you. Uh, and, uh, Michelle straight from the A. They want you to leave Michelle straight from the A alone. 
They say, uh, you've been harassing Michelle straight from the A and black women, um, talking real nasty about, about black women. And Mindy, Mendingo, I'm confused. Um, this is a, a, a special case, that's why it's being held in the Queen's Chamber. And I'm just a little confused at why you're attacking these women. Uh, because I don't understand when calling someone what and who they are is wrong. Um, you were born a man and you will die a man. Um, why are you showing all of these receipts and, you know, all your paperwork and pulling out all your documents? Show your identification. Your identification says uh, Timothy Hinton. Um, so you got so much money um, to steal and trademark things that don't belong to you. Um, I don't understand why you spend some of that money on getting your name changed and getting some new identification. Uh, the ladies are saying that you're a he. In my courtroom, um, I subpoenaed your identification. Your identification does say Timothy Hinton. So if your ID says Timothy Hinton and all your paperwork that you stole says Timothy Hinton, uh, Raw Dog Entertainment, um, I don't understand why you was changing shit. You know, why didn't you change your name into a female name? I don't know if it's because you don't have all of your female parts because you're half man, half woman, titties at the top and dick at the bottom. Um, I don't understand since you got so much money. Um, why haven't you paid for a full transition? Um, why haven't you changed your name from Timothy to Mandy? Um, is there a time limit for transitioning? How long does it take for you to transform from male to female? Since you got so much money, um, I feel like you can afford to pay for a full transition if that's what you really wanted to do. Um, is there a deadline on transitioning? Um, is there a timeline on transitioning? Um, I mean, do you have to go before a board or a committee? Um, you're halfway there, but you have not went all the way, but you want them to call you a she. You are not a chick with a dick. You are a man with tits. There's no way a chick can have a dick. If you're born a woman, you're a woman. If you're born a man, you're a man with tits, not a chick with a dick. You're the big, big man with tits. And I don't see anything wrong with them calling you a he. I don't know if you got the tits because, you know, the mutants out there like titties at the top and dick at the bottom, and you made your money with the tits at the top and the dick at the bottom, and you became greedy and decided to put on the wigs because as a man you made some money while you were walking the horse the horse roll, but with a wig and tits, you made more money, and you decided to go halfway. You're really not a TS. You're just a greedy, mandy man whore that makes more money with tits at the top and dick at the bottom, and you have no intentions on uh, a full transition because you like to fuck with your dick, and you don't want a real fishy puss. When I lay out of the bed, I feel like fish. When I'm in the shower, I feel like fish. Um, I don't see anything wrong with the women calling you a he. Trans means that you're transforming into something else. You would like to stay the way that you are, so I feel like you are a Decepticon, um, deceiving people. I don't think Optimus Prime would approve of this. And um, I don't know. I just think that you need to stop using the homophobic transphobic line um no one's picking on a tranny stop that and um you know either they were picking on you or picking in you you know all of this childhood bullying you're the bully and when you feel the need to say oh i'm being bullied i think you're going back to the childhood timothy era when you feel like they're picking on me or picking in me and i'm not buying it Dan would rather talk to somebody else for 60 minutes. We're tired of seeing you on your live. Um, you know, I should have left your ass alone when you said you was a thousand saying I shouldn't I shouldn't ignore the signs. But um, 
Again, while you're showing receipts, until you show receipts that you changed your ID from Timothy Henson to Mandy Manhor, I'm going to rule in the lady's favor. Um, I'm going to need you to transform completely, not just do it for the late night porn videos in the basement and the money. Um, uh, Geo is non-existent. He really doesn't matter. Um, and Mandy Manhor! I'm really in favor of the lady. This case has been dismissed. He may go. Hey YouTube, back again. I hope you enjoyed the first part of the video, but most importantly got some great content out of it. I mean, it is what it is. We're human. People make mistakes. Might have spoke out of turn. But what I want to just go ahead and summarize real quick is boys will indeed be boys, but we have some men who became what? Deadbeat dads. Uh, horrible husbands, uh, salacious sons, uh, bothersome brothers. I mean, these are just our men going astray out here in the community following the devil's ways and definitely not being the man or the head of the household in our community like they should be. Um, yeah, I did call some of the people in the video clip women because they seem to identify with what the devil, uh, has out in the world to offer. Everybody's drawn away by their own lust and God bless them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to disrespect anybody, but God is the judge of us all. LGB, LGTB community and black women, women in general having a war. People, let me tell you something. Know what battle to fight, okay? Know which battles to fight. Vengeance is mine, thus saith the Lord. Each one teach ones I mentioned, but apparently some people did not teach the people in the video clip. T.S. Madison and her crew had a white from front to back as a woman. Or they chose not to give a damn or chose not to learn because some people only care about putting on makeup wigs and lipsticks and dresses and going on out the house getting a bag of money um i'm gonna go ahead and put the links below to all the video clips that i used in the video um and kaya don't be messing up my last name when you call that all them mandy man all these mmms my last name was in there chick and I don't appreciate that, okay? <laughs> also, T.S. Madison, why haven't she transitioned for 20 years? Is it because some men like dressing up in wigs and dresses and lipsticks and powder, pa pa powder packs? Pancake 31, that's what um, Lil Richard used to say. <laughs> Pancake 31, okay? And like to just powder their face up. Um... And, and is it because they like getting plucked in the booty while plucking people in the booty? And do they have the best of both worlds? They get to dress up as a man and at the same time be a woman. Pretty much, they get to screw somebody and then roll over and screw you too. That's figuratively and literally. Figur figuratively to you allegedly literally to kaya okay not saying that in the bedroom but in the world of business people can get screwed as well so do some men like getting screwed by other men in dresses you have men out here in this world that i do believe like getting screwed by men in dresses and if there's men out here who have boobs and in and, and a penis still and having sex, they are probably having sex with men in dresses and wigs and pancake 31. Or was it 35? <laughs> anyway, let me just go on and say here quickly and briefly that um, God did teach a set of people how to live, y'all, whether you want to believe it or not. And these set of people keep going on being stiff neck, hard heart, and rebellious people doing what they want to do. And the Bible says there's a way that seems right to a man that leads to destruction. Okay. Don't think I have anything in the corner of my lips. That's just that cheap, shiny ass lip gloss. Okay. 
Anyway, but, um, and, and God taught these people, us, me, you, how to live so that the oppressor, people who think less of us, would not and wouldn't continue to treat us bad and oppress us. And, um, the oppressor taught some of you people how to think less of yourselves and how to think less of other people. And that's why you have the war going on with atl with T.S. Madison, with Kaya, with the LGTB community, with black women, with men and women, with just our community is upped up again. And that's U-C-K-E-D without the F, man. All right. <laughs> anyway, I just want to say one last thing to Kaya. Kaya, 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 Kaya. Kaya, Kaya, ass does smell like shit when you wipe back the front like T.S. Madison and her crew. And that sweet, smelly, ooh, somewhat of a fishy odor the men like to attract to. Well, if you wipe them back to front, it's going to smell like a barracuda's ass from the Bermuda Triangle somewhere, okay? I'm just keeping it real, people. That ass going to stink. And the veggies, you don't know what that is as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Subscribe, like, and share. And hit that bell for more sweet tea in the Lord. Because what? Here on Hashtag Religion Week, we talk everything up to Yahweh. How? Sipping all the tea we can with no shade. Talking everything up to Yahweh. God bless you. Y'all bless. Oh, hell yeah, I did. I had to go take me a shower for this one.